What is our problem with Hillary? What's your problem? What is your problem with Hillary? You know, I mean, I, I got my problems. I can, I can, I'll tell you what my problem is with her. Uh, she voted for the Iraq War. Um, she's too cozy with Wall Street. Uh, well, those are big ones. We don't really talk about the issues, do we? Whenever they talk about Hillary, when anybody talks about Hillary, it's about how you like her or don't like her. And the people who don't like her, and that's on the right and the left, don't like her. But what is this about her being likable? You're not going to the voting booth to vote for a friend. I want her to be my friend. No, I don't want her to be my friend. I want her to, I want them not to like her up on Capitol Hill. I want the people she's negotiating with not to like her. You don't want somebody all likable. Sure, whatever you say. Okay, I'll sign here. What else? What are the other knocks on Hillary? Um, not trustworthy, right? We hear that a lot. She's not trustworthy. How did she prove her distrustworthiness to you? Did, did she promise to water the plants for you while you were gone and then didn't? No, I'm not talking about differences. Of, I mean, you say, well, she flip-flops or whatever. Well, everybody changes. Everybody evolves. I hope they do, right? We want our Trump voter friends in here tonight. We were asking them to maybe change. If you just stay in cement, it's like, okay, so she's learned. She was against, she fought gay marriage, and then she was for it. Well, I'd rather that than staying against gay marriage. I don't think that's a bad thing. She said her Iraq war vote was wrong. She's never done anything more wrong than that. Okay, it's not exactly I'm sorry, but that's pretty, okay, it's a, she's a politician. I accept that. What else? What else? What are the other knocks on Hillary? Benghazi. Okay, Benghazi, yes. She got up in the middle of the night and personally planned with ISIS, which she and Obama created, according to Trump, they invented ISIS, and they planned this attack to kill our people there at the, at the consulate in Benghazi. Oh, she's been cleared of the charges six times. That's not enough. You have to be, if you're Hillary Clinton, you have to be cleared eight times. Oh, the Clinton Foundation. Well, thank God there's a Clinton Foundation. Look at all the good they've done. You know? I mean... And, and if what they say is true, and so they get to have a meeting with Hillary, and what's their meeting? She's still Hillary Clinton. It's not like they get to go in there and say, I need you to bomb... I need you to, <laughs> I need you to bomb Yemen. Okay, how much did you give the Clinton Foundation? I gave the Clinton Foundation $50 million. Call in the airstrikes. That's not what's going on. Generally, what the Obama administration, State Department, has done, not everything, has been good for the world. The world likes us a little bit better than when George W. Bush was in the White House. Right? So... But what else? Remember, I'm not a Hillary voter, so what else? What else? Huh? You forgot to tell us she was sick. Yes, that one. She, she wouldn't tell us she had pneumonia. And I want to say something about that. I just feel bad that she didn't tell the truth about her pneumonia. And what I feel bad about is not her being a liar, but that she has got to a point in her life where she can't even trust us. She had just said, I've got pneumonia and I've got to take the weekend off. What would the response have been? It would have been, it takes a village, right? What she taught us. She can't quite trust that about the United States of America. That's a sad commentary on us. That's not really on her. Can't we start saying something nice about her? We're doing an interview about Hillary Clinton being single. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, what do you think? Well, I think that Hillary Clinton's a hell of a good woman. And I hope she's not single in a year and a half. I hope they stay together, and I think they will. I think she's very committed, and I think he's very committed. You think she's, that she's not going to be out having a... You don't want to date her when she's single? No, I think that she's very happy. I hope she's very happy with her husband. And I think she understands her husband better than anybody. And I think she'll be just fine. So it's a... Wow, okay. Okay. <laughs> so no dating advice? I don't want to give her any dating advice. She's going to be married to... Uh, our current president for a long time. All right, Joe. Thanks I hope. a lot. Okay. I'll tell her you're not interested. Tell her. Have a good time. <laughs> Bye.
so. Anybody else? Come on, right down here in the front row. Yes. I think she's every single thing we say we want our daughters to be. She's smart, she works hard, she's independent, and she doesn't take any shit from anybody. Wow, that was, that was beautifully put. All right, uh, right behind, yes, sir, right back there. Like her ad, she really has fought for opportunity. You like her ass? <laughs> what say? Ad, commercial. Her ads, oh, her ads. <laughs> she really has fought for opportunity for kids for her entire life. Yes, that's very nice. Um, I want to tell you a little story. When I, um, I wrote my first book in 1996, it was called Downsize This, and uh, there was a chapter in there called My Forbidden Love for Hillary. And so you've probably seen these uh, different uh, photographs behind me on the stage here tonight. I was just really upset with the way she was being treated uh, when she was first lady. I mean, was she being knocked and criticized all the time? She was you know, um, being made fun of, how she looked, how she dressed, and, and also for um, being the co-president, right? Because remember when she said that they were, she was being criticized during the campaign when Bill first ran, and she said, look, I'm not some little lady going to be in the kitchen baking cookies and hosting teas. Attacks on her started then, and she was the butt of jokes of late-night comedians. I remember there was one, one joke was... Um, Hey, have you heard about the new Hillary combo at KFC? It's got two large thighs, two small breasts, and two left wings. And I thought about it for a minute. I thought, well, that sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> no, but I just, I just, I thought she was beautiful. I, I thought she was smart. I thought she was a nice person. You know, I, I didn't understand what this was. And so I wrote this chapter called My Forbidden Love for Hillary. And I got invited to a White House dinner. And um, to give you some context for this, the dinner took place the night before Clinton's impeachment. Okay, so what a night to be there, right? He didn't look good. Um, do we have the picture of me uh, at the White House? We found, look, there I am. There I am. <laughs> Hey, I clean up okay, right? You go through this reception line before the dinner, and you walk into the East Room, and there's a Marine guard there who announces you. And so there's like 100 people going through the line. So I'm standing there. And, and you're told you get five seconds, and then you got to keep moving. Shake their hands, say something nice, move on. Then the Marine goes, Mr. President and Madam First Lady, uh, Michael Moore? I walked in there, and Bill grabs my hand, and he goes, oh, my, more, I just love, I love you. I love, I'm your number one fan. I love, I love your show, TV Nation. I, love, I remember that one episode you did where you went to Idaho, and, and you went to that Klan rally. Oh, that was just, and I'm thinking, what? <laughs> like, these Clintons are good, man. There's 100 people here. He's got a story for every one of them. He's referencing an obscure episode on a Friday night show on NBC of mine. And he's like, he's like, you know, and he's accurately describing the episode. And I'm thinking, man, I just, and I love, love Roger and me. I just, you're, you're, I'm your number one fan. And at that moment, Hillary grabs my hand, takes it out of his hand, and says to him, no, you're not. I'm his number one fan. <laughs> and then she just... And, and she goes, I just want to say what you wrote about me in your book. I'm just, it was so wonderful. And that first line in the book, my face is turning red, right? And cause the first line in the chapter of My Forbidden Love for Hillary, where I have all these photos of her, uh, the first line was, Hillary Clinton, she's one hot, shit-kicking feminist babe. <laughs> and... I just, I love everything. And, and when you talked about me on the Today Show, that just, and now at this point, 
I've been there for too long. Her aide is like stepping in because she thinks I'm holding the lineup, but it's Hillary that won't let me go. And Hillary sees the aide coming and she goes like this, shoo, shoo. <laughs> and, and I said, well, I just listen, I just think, I'm so sorry you're going through all this. Um, with, you know, but it's, you're a good person and you seem like a good mom and, um, and you, know, you should run for Senate. <laughs> And now, I, I, I could not, I went through all the files uh, trying to find this picture of her holding my hand, but there is a picture that was snapped just as I, I walked away. Okay, check this out. All right, look at this. Look at this, that's true. This is the truth. This is true, this is all true. Look at that. One of them's really happy, and one of them's not. 